Hi, I'm Chad from Conair. I'm gonna give you a little preview of what you'll see at the MDM West Show in Anaheim, February 4th through 6th. Once again, Conair has partnered with Davis Standard and Zumbach, and we are producing what is the most technically complicated medical tubing product I have ever seen made live at a trade show. Now remember, when you're making product at a trade show, you've only got a couple days to get the entire line set up and running, and it's very difficult. And we've chosen to make a very complicated technical application. This is a medical tube, and this medical tube has three lumens in it. There may be a technical name for this design, but I call it the Mike Wazowski, because it seems like the eyebrow, the eyeball, and the smile on Mike Wazowski's face. This tube that we're making is a bump tube or a taper tube. It has a tip and a body. The tip is 110 thousandths outer diameter. The body is about 140 thousandths outer diameter, so we're increasing our size from 110 to 140 thousandths. And in the center, that tiny little hole is five thousandths of an ID diameter, the tiny hole. So make sure you stop by booth 4320 in the Anaheim Convention Center, February 4th through 6th for the MDM West Show. Let's take a look at what we've got running here. We'll start out here at the True Blend Blender where we're making batch mixes of regrind and virgin material. We're running about 20% regrind and the rest virgin. And the regrind is the scrap that we've made on the line. So we're reusing 100% of our scrap and making the product. There you can see on the SB5 control, 20% regrind. So we load the True Blend Blender with our virgin and regrind material. It creates the batch size and mixes it. It's feeding our tube loader. This is a TLM motor loader. You can see the material is passing through an MG drawer magnet and into the throat of the Davis Standard Extruder. The one inch Davis Standard Extruder then feeds the material through the die. This is a gill die. And below the die, you can see we've got Zumbach air boxes that are feeding the air into the line that produced the lumens in that medical tubing. The Davis Standard one inch extruder heats up those plastic pellets across the screw through the barrel into the crosshead die. You can see the air boxes feeding these tiny tubes of air which create the voids in the tube. It's then sized as it goes through the pre-skinner further sized as it goes through the vacuum section of our Conair Medvac tank. You can see the product passing through there. Here's the tank control where you can see we're controlling our vacuum level. As the material is in the vacuum section of the tank, it's passing through the Zumbach ultrasonic fixture. This is the A10, and that's sending a signal which also adds to the signal coming from the three-axis laser. So here on the zoom box screen, you can see we're seeing the outer diameter, which is measured by that three-axis laser. And then the ultrasonic is measuring the wall thickness, which you can see on this part of the screen. We're also tracking the ovality. And like I had mentioned before, we're at about 140 thousandths, roughly, on the outer diameter. On this section of the taper tube, you can see how we're on the narrow section. We ramp up to the taper of the body section, then it gets cut there, and then it gets back to the narrow section again and cut. So our scrap is the section between the body and the tip. That little section is the scrap that we're recycling and reintroducing that material into the system as regrind. When the product leaves the vacuum section of the tank and enters this section, You could hear the air moving in there. That's because it is blowing off excess moisture from the tube. Tube comes out of the tank, heads to the Zumbach ODAC, which is the outer diameter three-axis laser. It's constantly reading the size of the outer diameter of the tubing. Next stop in the process is Conair's Medline puller cutter combo and what's happening here is that the line speed is adjusted to create the taper in the tube So if you look closely and I'll put a clip in here You'll see that these wheels move faster or slower as they increase speed to decrease the line size 
and decrease speed to increase the line size to make the taper in the tube. And that's all controlled on the Medline cutter puller screen. So it does have a puller section and then a servo driven cutter. It exits the puller cutter onto a takeaway conveyor where we are using blow off to evacuate that line. And you could set your takeaway conveyor to blow off the good parts or using quality assessment from the rest of the line, you could blow off your bad parts and let your good parts go into a bin. You can set that up however you like at your factory. Now we've got some stuff going on here in the background also. We've got a Conair thermalator controlling the water temperature going into the vacuum section of the Medvac tank. We've got a chiller that's cooling water that could be used by the thermalator, but it also feeds chilled water to the Davis Standard extruder. And then we've got our Conair Viper granulator, and this is what we're using to grind up the scrap pieces Once they are turned into regrind, they're evacuated from the outlet of the granulator into the access loader on top of the True Blend blender, and then the process starts all over again. So make sure you mark your calendar, register today, come out and see Conair, Davis Standard, and Zumbach at booth 4320 at the Anaheim Convention Center, February 4th through 6th. Now I've just gone over a quick overview of this entire line, but when you stop to talk to us in Anaheim, we can give you all the technical details about how we're making this medical tubing, how that taper tube is created, how those voids are created to make the multi-lumen inside the tube, and then what portion of the tube becomes scrap that we recycle and reintroduce to the process. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in Anaheim. Here's another screen showing the mean diameter the ovality, and the wall thickness.